Hey everyone, and um, welcome to another episode of For The Par Mind Body Golf. So today's episode is gonna be all about supplementation. Um, so it's not something I've spoken about at all, um, particularly I have recently posted something on my Instagram stories um, with regards to what I'm using, um, but I wanted to give a little bit more insight into why I'm using things, what I'm using, um, and if I'm considering using any other uh, supplements in the near future. So let's just dive straight into the video. I can't imagine it's gonna be a particularly long one today, um, but I would love to hear from you all if you have any questions, if you're you know, considering taking some sort of supplements. Um, you know, I'm by no means an expert in any of it, but um, if you want any advice, you know, I've, I've tried quite a few at this point, um, and I'm more than happy to, to provide my opinion, um, but that's all it will be. It won't be uh, backed up by scientific fact in any way, shape or form. So first things first, and I think you know this is probably a staple for almost anyone doing any sort of fitness, and I think frankly it should be, um, it's whey protein. So uh, again, anything you see here, I have absolutely no affiliation or allegiance to any of these brands. It's just what I've personally found has been um, either the best tasting or you know, I've had the best results with, whatever it happens to be. So first things first, uh, I use Optimum Nutrition uh, whey, gold standard whey. Um, I opt for the double chocolate um, primarily because one, if I have a shake, I quite like it. Um, but two, and slightly more importantly for me personally, um, I often make a Greek yogurt uh, with granola and protein yogurt, uh, sorry, protein shake. So I like having a chocolate yogurt essentially with the granola, just it, to my palate, it tastes awesome. Um, so in this one, um, I think it's 24 grams of protein per scoop. Um, uh, you know, it's definitely not the cheapest uh, whey protein on the market by a country mile. Um, so if you're looking for a cost-effective whey, I wouldn't advise it. Um, I think, you know, you can go to places like Bulk Powders or My Protein or Bodybuilding Warehouse and they will have their own brand stuff which is considerably cheaper. Um, I have found that the taste is not quite as good if I'm com completely honest with you, but if, it, if your focus is just getting the extra protein in, you don't need to, to splash out for, for something like Optimum Nutrition. Um, as good as I find it, there are much you know much cheaper options out there. So please bear that in mind. Okay, so next up in my uh, in my list of supplements is yes, I did get dragged into some uh, some Instagram marketing at one point, um, and I started this journey on AG1. Absolutely not sponsored right now. Um, hey, AG1, if you fancy it, I'm I'm more than game. Um, but I started taking Athletic Greens um, back in, must have been February, um, after yeah, seeing you know, a number of influencers showing it, um, doing a bit of research into the, the potential benefits. And frankly, I, I did really, really feel the benefits of it. Um, that being said, I couldn't really get over the, the, the monthly subscription. It's an expensive supplement for sure. Um, so what I did is I, you know, as I do with all of these things, I went and researched and I looked into what other options are out there, and that's what led me to uh, a company called Protein Works. So this is their equivalent of Athletic Greens. They call it Super Greens Extreme. Um, it's vegan, which is cool. I mean, it's a, it's a vegetable and and, uh, and mineral supplement, so you'd kind of hope so. Um, but I mean, it's I think approximately about a third of the price of AG1. Um, and you know, I've still felt the, the same net benefits from it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's my, my green supplement. So along with my greens, which I have every day in the morning, um, I put in a scoop of this. This is, uh, again, Protein Works, uh, creatine monohydrate. So um, creatine, if you don't know, it's arguably one of the most researched supplements in the entire world. Um, it's been tested on everything from uh, you know, children all the way to to sort of elderly adults, and fundamentally, there has been um, very. I don't know if there's been any negative side effects, but a huge amount of, of positive side effects of taking or supplementing creatine. You can get creatine from things like red meat and whatnot, um, but uh, you know, I supplement approximately seven grams uh, additionally each morning, along with my my uh, green shake from uh, from Protein Works. Um, it's completely tasteless um, and when I go you know when I think about the gym 
gym really feels like I can lift a bit more um, than than before I you know before I started taking creatine. That being said, I have also been working out a lot more, so it could be um, entirely placebo. But the research would suggest that that supplementing creatine can only be a good thing. Next up, and um, very much a new thing, especially to me, um, but certainly it's it's something that I've only really heard about over the course of this year from people like um, Dr. Huberman, um, Derek for More Plates, More Dates, and a few other YouTubers that I, that I watch, um, and that's Nootropics, or Nootropics. Um, so again, whether it's just for ease or the fact that they had it all uh, available. Um, this is the, the Nootropics that I take. So this is um, Nootropics Endless by Proteinworks. Uh, again, so the same company that you, I buy my greens and my creatine from. Um, this is another daily supplement for me. So uh, the way I take this is I try to give myself a couple of hours from waking. So I typically I'll wake up at 7 a.m. Uh, I do also have a, a three-year-old, so um, that is up to him. Um, and then by about 9, 10 a.m. Um, I will take my nootropics. So um, research has typically shown that if you can survive that first couple of hours of the morning um, on just the, um, the alertness that your, your body and your brain is able to produce uh, instead of going straight into taking caffeine if, you know, as you wake up, um, there's been positive side effects of that. So um, nootropics do have some caffeine in there. Um, so that's why I give myself that, that couple hours gap before, before diving into, uh, into that supplement. Next up, um, something that, uh, again, is widely researched and um, I take it for you know, general health, but specifically for, for joint health, is this little guy here. Um, I take three of these a day um, with, my, with my greens and creatine shake, um, and this is omega-3. Um, so a fish oil, again, you can get these things naturally, but to get 3,000 milligrams of omega-3 um, every day, you'd be pretty hard pressed, you'd be having to eat a lot of salmon. Um, so that's, that's why I supplement omega-3. And last, but by no means least, um, is my pre-workout. This is fairly new to the rotation. Um, pre-workouts, just to be clear, are by no means a requirement in supplementation. Some of these, I would argue that um, you know, whilst you're on your fitness journey, I would strongly suggest you take them. Uh, Pre-workout is entirely optional. Um, I've only recently started taking this. Um, I've actually been actively trying to minimize my caffeine intake, generally speaking, um, apart from prior to working out. Um, now, for me, pre-workouts are awesome if you're doing a lift-only day. Um, if you're doing any sort of cardio, etc., I think just based on the fact that you know it is a stimulant, um, and you know my resting heart rate typically climbs up to between 90 and 100 um, after I've taken my my pre-workout. Um, bear that in mind. Cardio and a resting heart rate that high probably don't go um, that well together. Whereas when you're lifting a pre-workout, you know it gives you a pump. It gives you it gives you that feeling, that kind of almost euphoric feeling, like you know, that like the session is just going as 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 well as it possibly could. Um, to be clear, I'm not using like an illicit pre-workout or anything like that. It hasn't got DMA, uh, DMAA or DMHA in it, nothing like that. Um, this is very much a stimulant-based pre-workout. Uh, pre so it's you know it's things like um, high amounts of caffeine, L-citrulline. Uh, El Taurine. A lot of these you can get out of a can of Red Bull, but there are a lot of things in here that you also can't. Um, and obviously, quantity-wise, it is considerably higher. I think this, if you take one scoop of this, it's the equivalent to about three cans of Red Bull. Um, like I say, I use this on my lifting days. I do not use it on a cardio or a hybrid fitness day, just because my heart rate doesn't need to go artificially higher than it is <laughs> just through doing the, uh, the exercise itself. So that's been my list of supplements. Um, like I say, none of this is advice. Um, this is just giving you insight into what I take to assist on my journey. Um, there are things in there that, like I've mentioned, especially the, the, the last option, it is an option, uh, but there are things in there that if you are going on any sort of fitness journey, I would strongly suggest you consider, um, namely whey protein, omega-3, um, and creatine. I think all three of those are no-brainers um, that you know it's not the easiest thing in the world to get your daily requirement of protein that you know your macros might suggest so having a, a whey protein to just top up is a is a real benefit um, creatine like I say it's it's incredibly well researched I'll put a couple of uh, studies uh, in the links below or in the description down below 
Um, and then omega-3, um, again, why would you not want to look after your joint health? Um, I think it's a hugely positive thing to do. Um, but that concludes today's video. Like I say, fairly short and sweet. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you getting this far. If you are new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and like the video. Um, even if you're not new here, if you could like the video, that would be great. Um, and uh, if you want to leave a comment and you know provide maybe your insights into to what you're taking in terms of supplementation, that'd be awesome as well. Do remember this this channel is all about a community and having a conversation. It's not it's not it's nothing to do with me. I'm just the the mouthpiece, so to speak. Um, and with that being said, I've been Alex. This has been For the Par Mind Body Golf, and I'll see you in the next video.